Derek here. And today um, I'm all alone finally. You notice I've always been with Arson or the Lincoln Z, everybody lately. But today it's just a good old classic riding through the hood vlog. You go ahead and top off on some sex juice. Numero cinco. Can I please get a uh, eight doll hairs on number five? Eight on five. Yep. Big yeah. What's up, What's up man? Okay. Watch them. You watch them shitty videos. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. He's about to move and got to meet him before he left. I, I tend to be uh, <laughs> tend to be good on doing that. I remember this guy and this girl were coming down from the Mansion Hilltop one morning when I was getting food, and that was their last stop while they were visiting from fucking Canada. I thought that was awesome. Look at that, eight doll hairs, perfect fill up. Bitch! <laughs> it's been a while since I've cruised through the hood. Let's see what's going on. We're gonna have to check out the Mansion Hill Kent later on too because I saw that they closed the whole fucking front portion off where you sit and catch some view ropes. They, not only did they close it off, they closed it up with some like metal barring and shit, so that kind of sucks dick. Oh, I forgot this street's full of construction. Ow, fuck. Oh, oh, those of you that, uh, those, that, those of you that's been around my channel for a while, let's go ahead and do one of those <laughs> cemetery updates. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, back in the day there was an Unsolved Mysteries fucking uh, episode on this headstone here that moves around on its own. And as a kid, I've seen this shit. It's right in here. that one on the back far in the right in front of the tree when I was a kid it used to be on the top mound on the left of it that looks like a little mosquito bite titty and uh, then it moved there and the and the other freaky part about this is that's the only headstone in the whole cemetery that's facing that way when all the rest of them are facing this way so you know it's a little little creepy thing and sometimes I do a little checkup on it but yeah looks like it's all in good order right now I've been wanting to reposition my microphone. I like push it up a bit. The reason you guys hear me breathe like I'm fucking gasping for my last breath of air while getting my tip ridden by Rosie O'Donnell is because, like, literally, let me let me show you. Ah, I'm licking the microphone right there, which is probably kind of gross because I got all kinds of fucking cut cheese on there. But uh. If you haven't thinking about repositioning it, maybe it'll even quiet it down a bit. It's a good microphone, the MXL Go Live 165GP. It's like 75 bucks, but man, it's worth it. It's been my favorite microphone. It eliminates that stupid bullshit GoPro adapter, the 3.5 millimeter one. So it's kind of just a one shot plug in from the USB port. Damn, the Razor scooter. I used to have one of those when I was a kid, bumped that shit all around San Bernardino. <laughs> Yeah! One time we were mobbing right there through that uh, street, baseline, when I was kids. Uh, we were probably like 13 years old, mind you. And uh, we, once, we walked past this, what I would assume to be a prostitute, because that street is pretty much like a gold mine for prostitution. Like how the Hollywood Strip is known for Hollywood Boulevard having the stars, that's known for like being the strip for some tip. Or actually for some strip or some clit. I don't know what else to fucking call it. But uh, that used to be the place for that shit. And one time we were walking by coming from the liquor store and this chick walks up and goes, I want to suck your cock and eat your gum. Well, that guy's like knocked out on the side of the ground. And some chick straight up said, I want to suck your cock and eat your gum to a bunch of fucking 13 year olds. Can you believe that shit? But that's Sam Rodino for you. She kind of looked like a, di a mix between like that Nightmare Before Christmas character and uh, Tales from the Crypt. Like she was like, Aah! she was kind of, uh, kind of grody. Oh yeah. 
lot's kind of packed in here. I was going to get some tunnel exhaust, but there's all kinds of hose in here. I need to get me some pictorial ropes. It's like a big government agency building, so might have some fucking men in black type cup dickheads come out with some electric anal probers. Your tire's slipping out easy. <laughs> Sounds like some fucking dudes playing basketball. <laughs> I need a Kodak moment. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you're fucking up in life. Literally. You gotta go ahead and follow up. Bigger X Derek on Instagram. Come catch some Kodak moments. Catch a Kodak rope. Catch some, <laughs> catch some skirts. All right, I'm out. All right, maybe one more. Oops. <laughs> I need to stop being so damn ignorant. Yeah. About to split through this tip like a nun's asshole. Yeah. <laughs> fucking highway patrol right there on the on ramp. I was about to fucking gun it up this shit too. It literally smells like if a sewer was a living entity, that sewer had its open asshole spread in front of my face right now. That's how it smells. <laughs> Fucking gross. Yeah! I'm trying to set something up that'll hopefully be a cool video for uh, those of you that watch my videos that uh, don't ride yet or are wanting to ride or are just so happening to be getting your license. Oh man, you fucking stupid light. Better go, better go, better go, go, go. Yeah! Some fucking Grand Theft Auto shit right here. Catch a train rope. Good old Tony Carbohol put a new pipe on my bike. Another one of those ones that's, it's the same one I had before, but it's actually a little shorter. And it's brand new this time, and oh man, it sounds so much better. It actually sounds a lot more uh, throatier. Nice smoggy V ropes. That's how smoggy San Bernardino ghetto is, where you can't even see the mountains that are right fucking there. <laughs> oh man. What this is, is it's a Honda, um, Honda rider course. And uh, you can basically take it to get a license, they have advanced rider training and all that bullshit. And I was thinking of trying to take one, some of these tests, to do videos on them. And then those of you watching can literally see every little fucking thing you're gonna have to go through to get your test so, or your license. So I thought that'd be a pretty cool little thing to do. And that's if I could fucking find the place. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> that guy's busting one of those. <laughs> oh, that's funny. This place looks like it's straight out of the 80s. When I saw they actually got trails you could do, you can do dirt training, everything here. It's pretty cool. Looks like they got a fucking class going on right now. There's like a bunch of Hondas. Like it's all Hondas. That's just cool about coming here because they got they give you a bunch of Honda bikes to ride. That's tight as shit. Let's see what this place is all about. Hi, how you doing? See, I never, I never did this shit for my stuff. I did all the basic bit shit. So I thought it'd be cool to go through this and let you guys see it. Pretty much this is what we're gonna have to go through. Looks like they're gonna give you like balance tests and everything. 
Dang, I wonder if I can ride the little dual sport. All right, I gotta, I gotta go see this mansion hilltop for myself. Fuck man, this is some straight booty right here. Literally some straight booty. There ain't no good spots to sneak in either the dual sport unless you want to go around that crack right there and risk eating shit. Fuck. Well there goes this fucking spot. At least right here. Haha, <laughs> then you do shit right here though, bitch. What now, ho? There's a 909 phone number on it too. Feel free to call it and be like, bitch. Call and be like, you took my mansion hilltop and I don't like it and I want to whoop your ass. Well guys, that's going to go ahead and conclude this little video for the day. If, I can, uh, if everything goes well, she gets some fire ass little videos at the training course about a couple weeks. And uh, as always, all info to everything is in the description below. If you guys want to follow me on Instacunt, Twitch, Facecock, Twitter, I'm active on all of them. Except for Facebook, kind of don't like that one that much. You can get my fucking Baker X Derek shirts and hoodies as you can see right here. Fucking anything you need in the description. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the... Add that like button and you guys have a real good day and I'll see you guys later. Yeah!